What's up guys, it's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome back to the channel. As always today, we have a gig log. So I'm in the office, of course, doing a little prep on Vibo, making sure all my music is synced over between my laptops and uh, getting all the camera gear ready for today because we're doing a ceremony audio recording slash live stream today, which is the first time I've done this since COVID. So it's a little bit of a making sure I got everything that we used to use. In short, that basically means I'm going to record the ceremony for the couple just with a single camera shot, nice and clean. I'm gonna record the audio, sync it after the fact, but we're also gonna try and live stream it on YouTube as well, so that anybody that wants to tune in can watch it as well, if we have good internet, which we're at a restaurant today, so we should be pretty good on that front. But anyways, you guys like to see behind the scenes a lot, and I always talk about, if you haven't watched any of my previous videos, talk about systems. Systems are what allows for efficiency and also removes errors. So for me, I'm big on systems, and one of the biggest systems I have is my gear so if you guys have been following the channel you know I built a lot of gear and built a lot of things that make my life easy so let's just talk about the trailer real quick in the trailer of course we have Burfa the all-in-one built-in DJ booth you'll see it later if you haven't seen it before then we have the audio rack everything built into it with all of our cables in the actual rack itself so these two things alone will take care of all of our audio necessities except for the speakers coming back into the garage i have my other stuff laid out this is my ceremony rock and roller cart so on this cart i keep my all-in-one ceremony rack. I keep my LD Maui 5 Go ready to go. I have my Yamaha mixer there. This is a bag full of kind of the extra stuff, the DMX stuff that I need for the main rack. And then today we're using the tubes. So I got the bag of the tube stands down there, nice and compact. I got the tubes just laying on top, good to go. Back here, we got both the LD Maui 44 G2s ready to go, just stacked up. I'm gonna roll these up into the corner, all good to go. This is new and I'm really excited for this. I went ahead and just bought a big empty utility road case and what we use this thing for now is we throw all the personal bags in this to roll in and out of the event so in the past I've shown you I have a bag system I basically have a clothes bag I have my ceremony backup computer bag and then I have my main DJ bag and then I also have just uh, you know my jacket and my shirt that I'm wearing for the day as well so the beauty of this thing is instead of us having to like, you know, throw all three backpacks on our back or try and stack them on top of one of the other things, we just toss all the bags in this big utility case right there, roll it into the venue and we're good to go. And then same thing on the way out. So it, it's just kind of streamlines everything into less things. That's something I've learned over the years is that the more that you can fit into one thing, the better. And for you guys that don't have a trailer or a van with a ramp, and it's a little more inefficient, I highly recommend you guys get like the biggest rock and roller you can, that way you can stack everything up to minimize your trips in and out of the venue. Again, you guys that are not new to the channel and might have not seen this back from COVID when we did the ceremony recording, just wanted to show you guys some of the gear that we use for the ceremony recording outside of the camera that I'm using right now. So all I got is the video gear here, but basically I have two different tripods for cameras. One, I gotta go get my um, phone mount. We do all of the live streaming from YouTube. So I use my phone to stream to YouTube via Wi-Fi or via cell service, depending on what we have available. That's the live streaming portion that I take the link and I email it out to everyone that's gonna be watching. Some of this is for my actual gig, so this is the GoPro rig we use. I have basically an anchor battery here with two GoPro mounts and a GoPro, but we record everything on a Canon G7X Mark III, so I'm gonna set this as a permanent angle for the ceremony, and this is gonna record the whole entire ceremony. This is a battery bank for my phone, so that way, uh, you know, streaming takes a lot of power, so basically have the power ready to go. Extra batteries, this is a backup microphone if we need it. I have my whole road system in here. That's what I actually use to film a lot of these videos and this is one of our new Sony cameras. But yeah, that's a little bit about the ceremony audio recording. Yo, so we are at the restaurant. Here's a very tight little area. I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna load it. We just put the four ways on, parked on the side of the road. <laughs> we're gonna see how we can get in here. It cleared up a little bit. We can go see where that is. We go because they have like a courtyard somewhere wedding's pretty small today it's about 50 people so we're gonna see how this is all gonna transpire all right so i'm behind the restaurant there's the loading dock right there this is one of those venues where it would be nice if we had either a smaller vehicle or a loading dock level vehicle luckily we do see another way to get out of here through the building 
later if it's unlocked, so we'll see. So this is the space today. We're in like a atrium, not really an atrium, courtyard, whatever you want to call it. Only 50 people today. A little bit of a tricky setup. We're gonna position ourselves right in this corner vicinity, and we got a speaker on either side. For ceremony, we have the speakers pointing towards the chairs on either side, right there and right there. We're just trying to cut the sound in. These have like 180 dispersion, so we're just trying to hit this corner with the sound so that we don't get too much feedback from the mics that are gonna be up at the efficient and on the groom DJ. I will say later though, the sound system we're gonna be using for the reception is going to be one of interest. So we're actually gonna be pointing speakers at each other. Yes, we're gonna be pointing speakers at each other. It's not the most ideal, but it's gonna work and it's gonna sound awesome. I haven't had to do it in like two years. All right, so we all set up, finally got all the ceremony stuff ready to rock and roll for this evening. Let me take you guys through a quick little tour of everything we're providing, starting with the officiant's mic. I've done this in the past. If you guys are watching one wedding, it was a while ago, I did this exact same thing, and actually I think it's the exact same podium that we used last time. I believe it's the bride's, yeah, the bride's grandmother is gonna be doing the officiating, and if you guys know, it's always hard for one to put a lapel on a woman because you know, minimal clothing for the most part and also for an elderly lady, it tends to be tricky. So I opt to not put the mic on them to make things easier. And in this case, we have a podium. So all I did was route my little lapel up here, used a lot of gaff tape, make sure it's all good to go. And my transmitter is right here. So I actually put it on the clip. So I gaff taped the clip to the podium. And now all I gotta do is flip it on good to go and we'll have audio for the ceremony right there on the podium and it's one less mic I have to worry about. Now I am going to also put a lapel on the groom and that will take care of all of the ceremony audio. Small wedding of course, 50 people. We have our LD Maui 44 G2 over here, one over here and I do have it tilted out so that way because we don't have much distance to work with here it's set up just enough that like all the people here can hear the left side of this column array. Same thing over there just the right side so that way there's no spill coverage into the middle causing any interference or issues. Just because we are in a chamber basically we have a lot of echo a lot of things that could cause problems with our microphones today so trying to take the biggest precautions over here i have uh, my phone right now is set up during the stream we're 26 minutes in but basically i do a youtube live stream i got my laptop back there ready to send the link out there's no one viewing right now i have my little anchor battery over here keeping my phone charged up into the point of that we have both lighting usa we have the both lighting 360 tubes these are the ones i painted white otherwise the faceplate is white on the actual ones which we sell now. They're both lighting stands. We got a facade over here just to block everything behind it. Another tube there, another tube there, another tube there. We have the audio, well we have the DJ booth here. Brain 12's S9, KZ in your monitors for tonight. Sound switch, gonna control the tubes with. Serato, over here I got the secondary laptop with the stream pulled up. I got my Zoom H6 to record the microphones. Oh and I missed, I have a Canon G7X Mark III over there to record hard video of the ceremony. Other than that, inside they actually have their own PA system that we can Bluetooth to. So it's gonna make cocktail very easy. I'm gonna take that laptop, Bluetooth to it, good to go. Um, but overall, I'm gonna go get changed now, so that way we're ready to go for the most part. Cool. In here's ready to go right here. We got the KZs. I ran them down the back of my neck. And right here is my little plug-in. I have a headphone extension cable on the back of the thing that I plug in and out of. Been loving using these in-ears, but let me go show you cocktail hour. Here we're going to tour the restaurant while we're at it. Entryway, over here is where cocktail's happening. Ceiling speakers playing off the Bluetooth. Stereo decks in there, and then I'm just Bluetoothing over to it. Gotta say, really dope restaurant. service just started they're passing out all the plates they took all the orders very interesting to have a restaurant concept for a wedding but I like it there's only 50 people here and everyone got to have their own plate their own order and it's like the vibe the vibes pretty dope here I mean honestly look Look at that box. I need to make reservations at this restaurant man anyways stay tuned open dance are coming soon And 